I don't know exactly where the influence is. I think, I think, um, especially in the new album, it's uh, it's like a kind of say the lyrics are like the mirror of my my, my soul, my thoughts, and um, probably it helped me a lot to to live in a very quiet place where I could could start to concentrate and to 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 to. Yeah, to start to listen to my to my to my inner voice, you know. Probably the beginning was uh, a kind of best of wishes and thoughts what I had over over years and years, and combined into a kind of music of what I would like to to, to buy, but it was impossible. You, you couldn't get it at this time. Little by little, step by step, like a puzzle, it came out what what came out. I mean, a very strange, weird combination of of elements. What theoretically couldn't fit together. But imagine the first days when, when I started to play this stuff with Gregorian chants and so on and so on to some people, they, they said he's mad. To be honest, I would prefer not to sit here today and give you the answers and that was the reason why I started and I said let the music speak its own language and I'm not important at all. wanted to try in these days where, where say package is much more important than the content of something I wanted to sell music again only music that's also where I asked my record company please do not, not not a bit of a special package or something where you send the record to radio companies and I said send it only as a regular record I, I want to see I want to see if it's possible these days to sell only music because everybody says it's impossible if I listen today to my first album, it seems so light and so so um, so easy compared to the new one. I mean, the new one is much more dramatic. Uh, it's a little bit darker. It was very clear for me from the very first moment that it will be completely different. I hate to copy myself because everybody expects I had the Gregorian chants are coming back. You know, no, they never come back. I think um, this music reflects a lot of uh, of my inner wishes, inner thoughts, and um, yeah, about my inner life.
I mean, the technical side helps me only to, to fulfill my artistic dreams. It's a necessity. Yes, I play the studio, yeah. That means it's a tool. But it's a tool who's my friend and not my enemy. have to have discipline for the part of the work because I mean it's really hard till till you get it's it's very hard you know you have something in your mind in your fantasy and to till you can touch it I mean it's a it's a really long long way I work the best if if I'm alone in the studio, all my buttons, computers, and everything what I need. No, I think it's necessary to be a maniac, because you know, when I start with, with, with an album like this, I have to isolate myself from everything what's around. As long as the project is the star, and I'm only the father of the project, it's okay. Yeah, when this situation will change, then I, um, I have to escape. <laughs> kind of ethic and aesthetic uh, musical points of view <laughs> uh, to, to respect this, you know, because a lot, I mean, I love music very much. I mean, it's a very important part of my life.
whole theme is maybe the return to innocence. Because what I would try to symbolize is that I think every human being, when, when, when see the first time daylight, is, is innocent in the way that it has no bad attitudes. <laughs> That's why I say, look into your heart, or, or, or it's the return to yourself. I mean, the return to how you came, how you came on Earth. help to some people only to to think about themselves about their life about their situation and maybe try to change some things then I think I did something good with this album